everyone, welcome to Wired Airy. Today, we are going to pull some of this out. Then we are going to find the disc spine. And we're going to get ready for cutting oats tonight. So, let's get some of this out of the way. time to get it ready for oats so to get it ready for oats we first this is roll tension we take that off and then we put the conditioning rolls up so that way we don't knock the oats off hopefully it gets some but you'll have that so let's get you into high speed and let's get it set up. Okay, so you see this now. Get the crunchies. So we're gonna open it up so we can stick our hand through it. So this nut here, this one, this is you crank it to lift the condition rolls apart. It even comes with its own handle. And this side is easier than the other side because there's nothing in the way. Or not like on the other side. Ah! I'm being eaten by flies. All right. So I think we got it up. And this is what I'm talking about. You can see the light. And that's how we run it. All right. We're in wire vision. So, we haven't greased it since we used it last, so we should give her a little grease. We're back and we're at Wild Vision. We've been changing some knives. As you can see, these are the bad ones. Some of them don't look too bad, but you can see like this one here is bent. And then like if you take it and you compare the knife, it's time. So I saved you guys one. Let's get to it. So the rest of them are fairly good, or I replace them. You could probably get away with running these. You really could. But being that our crop is short, and we'd like to get as much as we can for straw. Ah, these flies. You can do it. See, I was practicing. Clearly practice didn't make perfect. Because I'm still riding the struggle bus. 
Come on. I feel like it's right there. But it's not acting like it's there. Let's see what happens. Well, it was there. All right, let's get this finished up. Ah! Flies, they sure love cankles. Or just my cankles. Why don't I record the ones where it went really well? I'm thinking this is it. There. Now we got that done. Now this should be, we just gotta get some fuel in it and then it'll be ready. So we'll catch up with you. Hopefully, ah, flies. They like me and they bite right here on the cankles. It hurts, doesn't feel good. before they get all hazy again. Shit's humid out there. All right, we are night cutting oats. The reason we cut them at night is so that way there's dew on it. So that way, for the most part, you don't lose the oats. As you can see, there's a lot of weeds growing with the oats. Uh, that is a downfall to hauling pen manure out on the field. But and that's what we do. I have Noah, you probably can't see him, and Liam's with. It's the one time of the year they get to stay up really, really late. Because it is 2.14 right now. So hopefully we'll be done by 5 o'clock in the morning. Things go well. As you can see here, the oats is a little thicker. But so is the weeds. Anyways, they're talking 100 degrees today at some point. The corn ain't gonna like that without water. It's gonna cook it pretty fast. It already looks pretty cooked. But it actually looks happy right now, so that's good. Because when your corn starts looking like shit in the night, then it's done. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, we should've ran it over. What was that? It looked like woodchucks. That's a velvet leaf out here and a lot, a lot of pigweed. And I have no clue how the alfalfa looks under here. We haven't got out and looked because I don't want to be disappointed any more than I already am without rain. So we're just going to cut it. We're in Wyvision and we're back. We just about got Wirestar dialed in again. Well, you guys can't see, but we're going about nine and a half, ten mile an hour. Well, we said we were only going to go eight, <laughs> and then here we are. It's just so easy to push the stick ahead, apparently. That's how you keep yourself awake. Yeah, with Wire Star is how you stay awake at 3:30 in the morning night driver because the night time is the right time all right we're back you guys never left though we are just 
Just a moment. Oh, we got a family of raccoons! <laughs> Looks like you got one. Oh, we got more than one! <laughs> it's important not to pull out. <laughs> we'll have to come back and look. So earlier, we thought we were, but it turns out they're raccoons. Yeah. Because right we may or may not have a raccoon right there. <laughs> And the rest of the family, I think we just ran through. So for all you haters out there that think that's a horrible idea, I don't really care. Raccoons are nothing but problems. They wreck stuff. They eat meat. Then they must die. <laughs> are you okay, buddy? <laughs> no. I foresee you are not. That's a decent sized raccoon. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Oh, let's go look to see the other ones. So now that we're out here. This might be alfalfa. It looks like there's a lot I've of tiny seeing, alfalfa. I've been seeing a lot of these. A lot of pigweed. This here is some elf milfa. See, and as you can see, there is not very many. Well, that's actually milky oats. But it's got to dry a little bit. But as you can see, we bored across it with the disc spine. There are some out here, but not too many. All right, we got done and we found all of our furry friends. We're going to take them home and what are we going to do with them, Noah? Throw them on the poop pile. Excellent. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do with and them. And Penny will find them. Our furry friends. Three raccoons. Now there's three less raccoons in this world. That's a great thing. Boy, I do hate me some raccoons. <laughs> For anybody who likes raccoons, that's great. But they ruin a lot of stuff and make a mess, so... Didn't hurt my feelings at all to push the stick ahead to get them. <laughs> all right, we're headed home. So we got done with oats and we actually got a half inch of rain this morning, like right after we finished cutting oats. So that was wonderful. So we owe you a joke. So we'll get that in there. Knock, knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? I didn't know you could yodel. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I really appreciate everybody who watches. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can share your videos to a friend, an enemy, or a frenemy. I really don't care. Just share. So yeah. Don't forget to have a glass of milk and eat some cheese, please, and have a good one.